Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have the second part of the room. Um, I know it's probably really loud, the game volume. I don't know why the title screen is so loud. Um, but once we get the game started, I'm going to adjust the audio settings and hopefully you'll be able to hear just fine. I actually have it basically turned down as low as I can on my headphones because it is just so unbelievably loud. Okay. Okay, now I need to adjust the audio volume. I'm going to try right there. And hopefully it's not overwhelming for y'all. I'm going to try to keep an eye on it and see where it's going. If my calculations are correct, then this is where you will emerge. Welcome, friend. We have much to share. Now you are blind, but I have left you per left you provision to see that your passage might be shorter than mine. I am forced to conceal it somewhere in this room and trust in your wits to uncover it. I am not the only ghost in this place. A.S. Same person as uh, last time. Now the lens is broken. Okay, zoom out further to view the rest of the room. Okay. Double click on the round box. A puzzle. Looks like some, some of the objects can be moved. Got a new lens. Yeah. Sometimes the eyepiece can be used to see things that otherwise are hidden. Small piece of shaped metal. I should try to find where the piece can be used. Okay, some runes of some kind. October 23rd, 1883. Mr. Rigby, suffice it to say that I do not share my colleague's faith in your character. Word up to me, I should not engage a man of such low breeding and even lower station as yourself. The very thought of taking a grave robber into my, our service chills my stomach. But as Mr. de Montef Montefacon is fond of saying, needs must be as the devil drives. It falls to me then to brief you in on your ungodly task. As you should be well aware, you shall only be paid upon your successful return within the art artifact. Should you find yourself having any ideas otherwise, I must stress to you that while the artifact is of enormous value, it is only a value within a certain small community of researchers. It is not for the eyes or hands of an uneducated man such as yourself. I unconditionally demand that you do not interact with the object in any way. It might prove incredibly dangerous for you to do so. It is an instrument of great power and should not be interfered with by inferior minds. Okay. That was quite insulting. Oh, I found another little piece. Okay. Well... That's a vine. Okay. Looking for something that's hexagon shaped. That's square. Okay. 
What about the base? Can we... No, we cannot examine the base. Does not look like it. Oh, right here. Oops. Here we go. Let's open up and take out this orb. A strange brass sphere. Looks kind of like an eyeball. The base looks detachable, but not by hand. Okay. It is an eyeball. Ah, uh, okay. So let's... Southeast, south, west, north. We'll write this down. South, east, south, west, north. And then I want to adjust the audio just a tad. Please don't crash on me. <laughs> it did it in the first room. It crashed on me all the freaking time. So south, east, south, west, and north. A medallion. It looks interesting. I should take a closer look. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, we did see a square. There's nothing on the back. Flower. Hmm. I mean, we saw this, but I don't think it goes in here. It does. It's pointing at the wall. But why? Oh. Okay. There's another one. I think these are the same symbols that are on the table. A weeping angel. <laughs> uh. Uh. Uh, is that good or bad? <laughs> These flashes. I don't know what symbol. Oh, here we go. Oh, 
Holy crap, that was loud. Oh my god, I don't know if that was really loud for y'all or not. Um, hold on a minute. All right, I am back. I did some changes to the audio to hope it sounds better because I don't know why I was so low, so much bass. I don't know if it's just the game or what's going on. I don't think it's too loud for y'all, so I'm going to continue it and then we'll check it again at the next chapter to see what that is like. All right. So we are on a ship. And for a minute there, I could swear I heard footsteps, something running around. Okay, there's still no sign of my patience wears thin. In my frustration, I even scaled the far mast myself. A fool's errand. The fog is so dense I can barely see my own deck from the crow's nest, let alone the Helena. Regardless, I have the gun deck run run out the cannons in readiness. It is good to keep the men sharp. Okay, so we get do what the note says, put the cannons out. And there's a key that I don't have. Okay, let's look around a little bit more. Can I light this? Okay. But yeah, I've just had a terrible time with the audio. Having too much bass and it just really bothers me. And I, I want a crisper voice and that's just been something... I don't have the ear for that kind of stuff. I'm not a very auditory type person. So the audio has been a very difficult... Or, thing for me in this channel. Why can't I light anything? We can't take one of these lanterns off. Looks like something we can move, but I can't move it. Oh, why am I already stuck? This is only the second chapter. Okay, something hangs there. Oh, come on. What is going on here? I can't move anywhere because it's too dark. I see other stuff in the room, but I can't touch any of it. And it's so hard to make out. Okay, what about a clue? About the crow's nest, okay? There we go. There we go. Now we can move on. Oh, crap. Didn't even know we could get down here and look at this. It's 
So it looks like all we're doing is messing. Uh, we're messing with the shit. And now a candle is magically lit itself. Just magically. Okay. We have a piece of the Triforce. It's either wisdom or courage. Uh, bottom left corner. Okay. Can't do nothing with that. It's so difficult to see. There we go. Okay, so we need a key for that. Oh. Small, strange cylinder. Okay. These controls kind of suck. Okay. I don't recall seeing anything that that would fit in. Alright. Up here, though. Another key. And this time we have the opposite. Triforce, the right hand side instead of the left. Okay. Check in the pillar. How about the back of the crate? Is this a journal? It's been 30 weeks at sea and the crew's crew grows restless at our lack of plunder. Though I would not betray it, I, sh I share those concerns. A privateer's license is so small investment and my investors will not be happy without a return. According to the prisoners we took off the San Esposito, we should find the Santa Helena in these waters. Fresh out of New, New Grada? New Granada. There were simple swabs, ignorant of all the save, the workings of the decks, but they spoke of some artifact of great value aboard. I gave them a place among my crew. Okay. A little bit of the backstory, but... Or a little bit of the story, but I don't think it really helps me. Did anything else light up? That's a no. Was there anything... Right here. A mountain, a moor, a palace, a slum. Why not the quarters of a gallon in full sail? With each dizzying step, I am whisked around the globe as simply as turning a corner. Will you be following my path or forging anew? What sights you must have witnessed. In my own experience, is, it, is any guide. I'll keep leaving notes and I'll urge you to do the same. That we might know if our paths have crossed. Thrilling as this, there is something not quite right with this place. Though I struggle to define what, some earthly tang of reality that is quite missing. I sometimes fancy I can smell the lime and grease paint. Hmm. Okay. And it's strange that I... There we go. I was like, it's strange that we can't just grab that key. Because I've clicked on it multiple times. Cannot use that there.
Okay. Let's go back over here to this crate. Triangle up. Cannot manipulate this key at all. So that's what it looks like. I'm gonna draw it out real quick. That's not right either. I think that's right, though. Kind of looks like it can be moved. Is there a switch? this one ah okay one more And then there's the key. Okay. It didn't take long for us to track her down. We raced north for two miles on the deep sea currents to overhaul her he head start. Approaching the mainland, we turned west for two miles to cut her off at the coast. With no sign, we headed three miles south to meet her. We sighted her sure enough, but she cut through the cape before we could intercept. Now we must wait for the tide. Two north, two west, three south. Two west and one, two, three. Even the elements turn against me. Passage through the Cape took us four miles west. Okay. Passage through the Cape took us four miles west. And we soon sighted her mast four miles north of us. Seeing us in pursuit, she cut west two miles into a fog bank. With the heavy ballast, we would easily overhaul her if only this accursed fog should lift. sure oh okay I see ah okay so we went one two three four and then she was north 
by four. One, two, three, four. And she went that way west twice. And this has a color to it, so I think we need to use the eye scope. We have her now. The fog lifted shortly before noon. And there she was, six miles to the south. Rapidly, we closed her down and she fled east two miles. Back toward the Cape. Now she lies north of us by one mile. She won't reach the Cape again. Wait, what? Hold on. I was like, what am I looking for? Probably this. It's a little bit more. Ah, the, the fog bank is lifting. That's what's going on. Turn off my phone so it's not freaking beeping. A friend just messaged me about how Jimmy John's has a pickle sandwich. I don't know about that. I like pickles, but I don't know if I like them that much. Okay, go south six. One, two, three, four, five, six. East two. North one. A painted figurehead. I wonder if it goes on the front of the ship. No, I was like, every ship has something on the front of it, or it should. I'm just moving stuff at this point. Rows. Okay. Yes, please. There we go. I can't move that. The Santa Helena came apart on rocks at 1800 hours. She heaved as if the bottom had been torn from her and began taking on water at a terrible rate. Only there were no rocks. We approached as close as we dared to try and take on survivors, but only one swarm clear of the wreckage. Only one swam clear of the wreckage. He is some sort of scholar. A wide-eyed wreck of a man in tattered, blood-stained rags. Clutched in his white knuckled fist was some sort of sculpture that he babbled was of an imaginable power and worth. It seems our prize may have not gone, may not have gone with the Helena. I've had it moved to our quarters for safekeeping. Okay.
Just looking around the outside real quick. It is the natural tendency of this world to twist itself into ever more elaborate arrangements. Like the spirals of a vortex that once both the pattern and the system, it seems as though each room is itself a part of a wider apparatus. You must tune the room to find the glyph and, and tune the glyph to find the door. All must be aligned, but to what purpose? Am I an explorer or a prisoner? Okay. Oh, wait. Okay, a small disc. Another weight. Something happened, but where? I heard something. I just don't see where it was. It sounded like something was opening. that noise maybe it's just the waves I heard I could have swore I heard something open oh there it is not go here. That's yeah, a hexagon. Sh oh, it's a triangle. Okay.
Why are these turnable? There's got to be something with these. There's a drawer on the edge of the box's left slide, left lid. There's a drawer on the edge of the box's left lid. There must be a way to open it. Oh, okay. I was like, I didn't even see that. Huh, okay. Okay, it's gonna change shapes too. Don't see why that matters since it's a weight and a scale. God damn it. I'm back to square one of where the hell is the disc? Oh, there it is. I need to get this turned around. There we go. Like it matters. Okay. This goes right here.
anchor and a coil or a spring. I think we need to go back over here. That must be what goes right here. Does the coil go anywhere? Okay. And we're sure it does not go right here. We're absolutely sure. There we go. I think I can do anything with that right now. That doesn't seem to do anything. Something's missing. Yeah, the screw is like missing or something the spring huh Screwdriver. She should have just kept the screwdriver from the very first puzzle. That way she would have it. There we go. Aren't gonna put the screw back in? That bothers me. I don't know what time to put. 1800. So that's six o'clock. Because there's something in note about 1800. Looking around the room. Eighteen 
1,800 hours. Just checking all the pieces of the tags. And I can't use the spyglass. Not of the spyglass, the eyepiece. So how are you supposed to know what time? What am I missing? Because the only time we've ever actually gotten time was 1800. Which is 6 o'clock. All right, I need a clue. Now the chronometer's working. I think I can hear some movement in the, in the left side of the box. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, oh, 250. Okay. What does pressing this do? There we go. I don't understand why pressing that one stop. There we go. God. Let's get a click happy. Just just press it. Uh Okay, so let's start with the outer, since I can't turn the very outer. A diamond-shaped metal casting. That's where it goes. Got another gym. I think the symbol in the bottom right is what I'm trying to reach. Yeah. 
There we go. Another chapter complete. I only need to use the hit three times. You have successfully navigated the secrets of the shit ship, yet its grim ordeal will become increasingly challenging. Alright. Audio seems good for the most part. I'm just gonna roll with it. Doesn't seem too loud for y'all either, so I'm just I'm going with it. I'll see once all all the videos done and the whole game's complete. How it turned out. A metal bar. Ooh, some kind of temple. Looks kind of like Mayan ish. Pierce the eye. Length of string. It smells like burnt straw. Okay. Can't tie this yet. Small wooden handle. Oh, and that's where this bar goes. I don't know what this is. What that wood block is. I can't manipulate it. All right, well, let's look at this. Small token. Okay, that don't do me good right now. Another room, another door, another room. Either you have lost his eye, or more likely you have forsaken me. Another room, another door. Yet never a pang of hunger, nor the welcome respite of sleep. Another door, another room. I keep a tally in my ledger, but I can no longer count the marks. I count the pages. The writing keeps me sane. I tell myself so I do not deserve this hell. Hey. Oh, that, there we go. trigger mechanism. That's why you could not tie it just yet. Mm -hmm. 
small slit in the top of the box. Maybe like a knife? Surely that does not go top here. A gold tower. Okay. Anything else? Besides that. There's the cross bolt. <sighs> How do you load it? There we go. Here's the eye. Oh, wow. Let's try that. Oh, it is an eye. Okay, I see this skull now. Okay. Broken glass. I see. I see something once mighty people brought low by these heathen invaders and their plagues. They look to their priestess for the will of the gods, but the jaguar and the feathered serpent. Okay. Jaguar and feathered serpent. Speak to me no more. The crystal of our ancient mothers is being summoned. I would speak to them. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. Ah, so that's what this is. Okay. It's chasing me. It's a game. I think I have to get here. But. That seems to be the only tile that I can move. There we go. I think we've got it because it's in chase now. Okay, I know where this goes. What is this down here? Something should fit in the end. Surely not this, right? 
Okay. There was this down here that required a key. have anything that fits in there but I wonder if this will go on down here Is cracking. The mirror shard. a lot of symbols. Does this have any symbols? That is a no. Huh. There was this note here. That is not changed, right? No, it has not. Even though it appears to have changed in the mirror. I shoot this any place else. Well, I don't know. I see something over there, but I'm not sure what I'm supposed to aim at. And I don't think it's going to work right now anyway. That was completely at random. I had no idea. Okay. I was just going through the symbols, trying to look and see if I recognized anything, if anything stood out. I just got incredibly lucky with that. There's a tower missing. There we go. Now I can't use it because the top is missing. It's a gym missing. Perhaps something fits on this ridge. Hmm. 
How do I get it back? I don't see anything to use the dagger on. Oh, I may need a hint. So I'm missing a gem there. I need it to go back to the other box. But I somehow solved this puzzle by accident. I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking at. None of these are strangely colored or anything. I'm just trying to brute force it at this point. Yeah, I don't know how to solve that one, to be honest. Okay. Let's go back to the mirror. Okay. I don't think it matters now, but I should have written it down before I messed it up. I know this one was uh, that one, and then I don't remember what the, I think it was a cross, or the T, whatever you want to call it. Piece of flint. I see past lives, future lives, impossible lives. I think this is where, because it said something about straw. It's a little weird that it's shaped in a person. There we go. And we just happen to have, what, gunpowder in that rail or something? The middle one has something on it. Oh, 
out. One was stone, one was a bag. I am blind. Not, I am blind is my reflection. Our gods do not live here. This way brings no salvation. This path is not for my people. I shall seal them from it. Metal object with the star shape. Okay. So I think we now need to go back here. Oh, come on. Metal shard with the... Oh, oh, okay, okay. That goes over here. I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing. Oh, that seems close. Oh, okay, there we go. I see. That is a cool looking skull. Is that? I don't know what that. Oh, it's like a vertebrae or something. A human skull. Two hole. I saw two holes over here. Oh, those are pegs. There we go. Another crystal. Another chapter complete. I think that one was easier than the ship. Franklin? Hmm. You handled yourself well in the temple. May your good fortune be a light as you navigate ever darker chambers. Sweet. Oh, this looks like a nightmare. Oh, so much. Can't look around behind me. Well, let's go to the table. Temple, ship, time, null. Death, home, science, and stars. Button's missing something. A viewfinder. Okay, March 5th, 1883. Bailey and Sons, lawyers to the shipping trade. Okay, Miss Margaret Cox, I'm writing to you for the final time before I begin the proceedings I brought to your attention. Since my brother's disappearance, you have atta attached yourself to my mother like a leech. For her sake, I would prefer this to be quiet, but you are charlatan and a fraud, and I will expose you as such if I must. Leave her be, or else the paper has offered me a full page. Robert Bailey. 
So it looks like maybe a mystic or a psychic or something was maybe trying to find the brother or something. Guess I need a key for that. Let's look around the table one more time. These can be moved around. Let's check the table in the back. Or an old, a torn piece of an old photograph. If you are here, then my travels have not been in vain. If nothing else, my promise to you gave me purpose. If I were damned for trapping you here, then now I offer you my redemption. Finally, I hold the key, the secret to this world of worlds, this place of endless places. With it, you may lift the ve lift the veil peek behind the curtain. We do not have to take the path that is offered. Hmm. Okay. Small key. Wait. What is this down here? Five. Maggie Cox. For Simon Grayson, a.k.a. the Great Con, what has become of you? You know I can tell you when you're lying. I was the only one you could never fool. I know you have it. Have you started playing without me? It sounds magnificent. This pressman isn't going to leave me alone, and you owe me, you sow. Uh, since when can you resist putting on a performance? We'll be pioneers. I'll be at the Lion at 9 o'clock. You'll be there. I know you. Hags. Hmm, okay. So we have a 4 and a 5. That does not fit that at all. Looks like there's a handle or a crank missing from that. And a bulb missing from that. Oh, so we have so much missing.
Oh, I think this goes on the camera. I can't interact with it at all. Right. There's no place to use the key, right? Look at these chairs. Yeah, that key does not go here. I might have to take a clue. There was no keyhole on this, right? Oh, does this go here? Oh, I thought it went on the front. There's so much to touch. Uh, and here's where the key can go. I don't know what the other number is, though. Uh, let's see here. What did that look like? What 
only problem is you gotta like reverse it in your head. No. That's not right either. I think that's right. Whoops. What message did that say? End of the key is the wrong shape. Oh, the long. Okay. I see what I did wrong. Um, don't think I can mess with this right now, to be honest. It's missing something. A slot up there. Okay. There we go. Trying to just rotate it in my mind. It's a little bit difficult. That goes down here, the front, where we saw it. A long metal lever. I am honestly not sure. Looks like there's a part missing from the typewriter. Oh, it's a typewriter. That's got to be what this is for. Oh, okay. But what do we type? Something's missing from this. Infinity? Two. So we have a two, four, and five. But what order? Ah, there's the bulb. There's a ball. There we go. That's what we were missing.
So what lines up with the top there? These controls. There we go. Cosmos. That'd be the stars. Knowledge is science. Home is sanctuary. Missing death and null. Oh, let's push the button. I have a feeling we need to put three of the tarot cards up there, but which ones? Strange keyhole again. So we had the ship first, then the temple. This can be considered the home? No. I don't know. Infinity. Okay. Can we start over? Okay. Let's try infinity.
we begin at home staring at the stars so much to discover so little time okay so it could be home then obviously the stars which is the cosmos so much to discover that could be science or knowledge And then time. Whoops. So let's try home, stars, and then time. Voyage. Oh, God damn it. Spelt it wrong. Countless, countless ships bore us triumph to a hidden temple. It was at home you provide a shallow friend. So ship, temple, home? We're having a little seance here. Endless. Under these alien stars, I courted only death. I am saved by science, my muse. Up, up, down, up, down, 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 up. Okay. Okay. So first things first. We have the stars, death, and science. Then we have up, up, down, up, down, 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 up. Oh, okay, okay. I think I know what the down and up are for. So we have up, up, down, up, 
down, down, down. There, we got the death card. I forgot we were even missing that. So we have the stars, we have death, and then science. Watch it say something like, there is no hope. <laughs> the Null graced me with time. For a dozen lives work. Now death returns to take his duel. Dull, time, and death. But we don't have the null. Small bell. Clapper from a bell. Oh, okay. We saw that at two different places. A brass dial. Oh, for like a safe, okay. So let's go right here, use this key. Plate. Oh. Can I take this? Ah, and there's the safe. Let's use this real quick. Okay, this is a bit weird. Oh god damn, it messed up. No. 
Damn, this is a bit strange. Oh god damn, messed up again. Uh, I know what needs to be said, it's just trying to get it to line up correctly. Because it easily spins weird if you don't go in a proper circle. You try to cut the mouse in the middle of the dial, it spins very weird. There we go. No time and death. Last piece of the puzzle. Someone died. Let's check out their body. Now you see the truth of it. Time within this place works differently from, with from without. An hour, a day, a century, who is to say? A pity I had to wait here to see you on your final step of the journey. Everything is in readiness. Take this. Use it to find the room. Pocket watch. Okay. A key. Oh, in the front here. Is that the knoll? Chapter complete. You are to be congratulated. You escaped the cur curious events of the seance with all your faculties intact. Damn. Alright. Should be the last puzzle, I think. I just stopped and ate something because I was getting a bit of a headache. Uh... Okay, there's something here. I'm not sure how long this last puzzle is going to take. I cannot read what that says. Okay, tower. Are we on an island or on the shoreline? That was it? The other side. Even short journeys can cover great distances, and by making it to the other side of the crossing, you are now ready for the final step. May good fortune go with you. That was a bit stupid. That was a very short. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay. We're in a laboratory, it looks like. Okay, let's check the table. Nothing so far. This is where the null was created. No, no, I don't need a hint right now. I'm just looking stuff over. Subject Alpha 17. Lambrina Arata. Subject unresponsive. To post-mortem app of serum number four. Comb with electrical... <laughs> Sorry, I saw someone running across my my yard. <clears throat> Turns out it was the Amazon driver. Uh, combination with electrical stimulation of range 10 to 100 milliamps. Corpus degradation considerable with high amps. Conclude... Calyp Calyptra, unsuitable for further study. Okay, that meant nothing to me. Maybe there, I, I don't know. That's got no power. Must be the knoll or something. Can't interact with the shelves or this book. power. Looks like a film reel would go here, okay? Electrical connections inside. It's in a recess of some kind. I am certainly striking it out right now. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. 
One of the handles is missing. Uh, I'm literally stuck on the first step. What is this two? Oh. Subject beta four. Radis radis. Is that a rat? Subject necrosis significant, significantly haltered by pre-mortem apopserum number five. Temporarily muscular reflex restoration witnessed with post-mortem electrical stimulation of range 75 to 85. Okay. I got a screwdriver, so that means I can start taking stuff apart. <laughs> Should I wish to. It looks like I can do something with these corners. But it's not letting me. Hmm. Part of the plaque is missing. Was there any place I could have used a screwdriver on? I don't recall. Huh. We looked over here. can't be used up here, right? No. this a wooden box okay Let's go back over here. It 
So the SS is a one. The S with a line through it. Oh, come on. That's what I hate is these motion controls. It's like, really? I was just going around the circle. There we go. Seven. And this is three? Yep. So one, seven, three. A battery. Good, bad. Okay, the battery is now charged. Where can we put a battery? Over here? Oh, there we go. I don't remember where that went. I remember there was something about a star shape somewhere. Over here? Yeah, down here. What does that do for me? Oh, okay. Uh, Kirkton Senat Senatorium? Dear Professor de Montefiore, Montefacon? <laughs> uh, while I don't doubt your altruistic motives, your sister's condition is not aided by her continued confinement to your estate. I beg of you to see Madame Lucy return to the sanitarium as early as can be arranged. Yours, Dr. Beckett. Oh, there's something here. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute.
There we go. Subject E.H. Upper right appendage severed at glenohumeral joint. Necrosis in subject halted completely via pre-mortem app of serum application of serum number 05, followed by post-mortem application of serum number 4. Perfect muscular reflex witness with electrical stimulation at 77 and 3 quarters milliamps. Large handle crank. Specimens are missing. That book I can't touch. Okay, so I'm gonna need the battery. I can't shut this off? Really? I need another battery. Is this oh okay oh do I need to target the bug There's the other battery. Oh, and there's a specimen. Subject L, cardiac viscous. Necros necrosis halted indefinitely. Manual operation at 77 and 3 quarters milliamps. Basimil, Basimil of life restored with only proximity to raw null. No further avenues, no way back. Dear Lucy, forgive me, I was too late. Okay. Let's charge this battery, shall we? That was not good. Broke something.
A burnt out fuse. Well, that's just fantastic. Where am I supposed to get a fuse? Take this. And not. I don't recall seeing a fuse any place. What the hell? know what else to interact with. And my screwdriver is gone. Do any of the jars on the bottom of the shelf hold anything useful? Oh, this is turnable. Piece of a broken plaque. There we go. Okay, can we try this again, please? What are we going to see? A reanimated arm. Got a beetle. Yes, I know there's more missing. I don't know what to do with those symbols.
That would be a six. And zero. So symbols we saw would be 60. But what does 60 do for me? I don't understand because I don't recall seeing any place where you could uh enter a number. Where would you enter a number at? Okay, I'm going to need another clue because I don't know where you're supposed to enter a number. Strange marking. Wait, look. There's a strange marking on the drawer in the cabinet. What? Oh, okay. Down. But I can't look down. It says down, but... It won't let me actually look down. I am not understanding. I mean, it won't let me look down. And I can't interact with anything down. There's something on the other underside of one of the cabinet drawers. What? I tried looking underneath. Oh, God. I tried multiple times looking underneath and it would not let me.
Okay. So let's move you over to this and then this here. There we go. Strangely shaped key. Now what happens if we do it the other way? Nothing. Okay. There we go. What? Oh, there we go. I was just off a little bit. Large stag beetle. Okay, let's do the beetle first. interact with this handle no more. So the only thing I can touch is this, but I don't understand. I can't do nothing with this because there's no light going to it. look at something. Can we go back to one? Nothing underneath there. Maybe I looked at number one and that's why I didn't even think about number two. Okay, let me see here. Can we reposition this one? There we go. There we go. A lens like it could fit my eyepiece. Welcome. It seems that my fate to be forever standing on the shoulder of greater men. Mont Faucon's work here makes mine appear that of a child, but he never cracked the final secret to the doors as I have. He carried with him the key all along, and he never realized. The soul is the root of the knoll. It comes down to a simple trade, mine for hers and hers for yours. 
The heart is the seat of the soul. Travel well and don't look back. Whatever you see here, don't look back. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Oh, there's so much around here. Okay, say so one is the Triforce. this weird diamond the hexagon in it A weird triangle. <laughs> My drawings are terrible. Okay. Okay, so one is the Triforce. Two is this, and three is this. really pounding. I was about to say, it's that code meaning thing where I had to memorize the symbols down below, but I guess not. It didn't even give me time. Right, now it's like a lie. That's fantastic. That's where we started at in the first game. Completely destroyed that building. Congratulations, you've completed the room two. Where many have faltered, you have succeeded in discovering the, mis the mysteries held within its most unique space. You fled the laboratory and escaped the confounded house where it all began. After much scientific study, I can only conclude that it is an absolute impossibility that the null sample under my custody is the one, only one in existence. It stands to reason that there must be a great number of somehow coordinated samples which exert some kind of control on these curious events. Ah. Uh, Professor Dr. Mont Macon? <laughs> I don't know how you say that name. 19th of November, 1903. Thank you for playing. 
Thank you for playing and purchasing The Room 2. We hope you enjoyed it. A small, independent game developer, we truly believe in the power of word of mouth and goodwill from everyone who plays our games. So please, please let us know what you thought of The Room 2 by recommending or writing a review on Steam page. We sincerely value support and feedback, and by purchasing and recommending The Room 2, you are helping keep independent game development alive. Fireproof games. <laughs> I do really enjoy these games. But there's also a third and a fourth one, which I will play. So I'm hoping it continues the story and we learn more about what this knoll is. So, all right. Well, thank you for joining me for this game, of the, the second game of the room. Uh, please join me for the third one when I finally get that up. So uh, thanks for joining me and I will see you next time.